Hello, and a warm welcome to all those prospective parents joining us for this year our virtual open event. My name is Luke Hanna, and I'm head of primary here at Chichester Free School. This is not how we wanted to run this event, and we would love to be welcoming you onto our site at this time, but I'm hoping that during the course of this presentation, we can give you a flavour for the school, and most importantly, what it's like for your child joining us in early years. As you will see from the photo, we're housed in state-of-the-art facilities, but choosing a school is about so much more than that. And I'm hoping that you can get a flavour for what we can offer you and your child as we move through the presentation. We have a highly motivated and experienced staff team here at Chichester Free School who want to work with you every step of the way to maximise every learning opportunity for your child. I've already mentioned myself, Mr Luke Hanna, Head of Primary here. We have two early years teachers, Mrs Julie Clark and Miss Claire Emmett, both of whom are experienced with the early years unit. We have three members of support staff who are currently Mrs Sarah Andrews, Miss Becky Skinner and Mrs Nikki Stubbington who will work with you to make sure your child is settled and happy, particularly during their early days with us. All of the team want to work with you as a family to make sure the transition into early years is as smooth as possible. So what makes early years so special at Chichester Free School? Well, we're a two-form entry primary school, so 60 children will start in reception all at once. We do allocate your child to a class teacher as they're your point of contact. However, we work as one unit and we do this for a very good reason. This allows children access to three high quality spaces, two indoor classrooms and one large outdoor area. It allows the staff to provide a wider range of learning opportunities to make sure there is something that caters to every child. It also allows us to make sure that we can match activities to the needs of the cohort in a more specific way. We try to make sure all our teaching and learning is based on the children's interests and fascinations as we know this is the best way to hook young children into learning. We very much make sure we focus on learning by doing. Again, we know that for young children who are starting school, practical activities and a hands-on approach is a much better way to motivate them. However, having said that, we do include three short inputs into our daily routine. One around number, one around reading and the last one for writing. We know that by developing these basic skills, we're giving your child the best possible opportunity to flourish later in their school career. All children in our early years unit have access once a week to our on-site forest school provision. This allows them to develop other skills such as teamwork and practical skills that they wouldn't be using in the classroom. They'll take part in den making, sawing, learning about their environment and the world around us and all of this is done first-hand and on-site. Towards the end of their time in early years we gradually transition them into a more structured teaching approach to make sure they're fully prepared for life in year one. When your child starts with us they will be participating in learning based around the early years framework. This is something you might be familiar with. All children who have been at nurseries or with childminders will have been working towards learning goals as part of this framework. It's split into four themes, a unique child, positive relationships, enabling environments and learning and development. Within that, there are three prime areas of learning, communication and language, physical development, personal, social and emotional development. These three prime areas will have very much been the focus of any childminder or nursery setting. There are four specific areas, literacy, mathematics, understanding the world and expressive arts and design. And as your child moves into Chichester Free School within the early years setting, these will very much take the focus. However, we will still be focusing upon the three prime areas in everything we do. So, what does a typical day look like for your child in our early years department? Well, the answer to that is no two days are ever the same. But what I've tried to do below is give you an idea of what a day could look like. Our doors do always open at 8.45 and every child will come into an early morning activity. These are always designed to develop children's fine and gross motor skills and include things like learning to thread beads or tie laces. We register the children at 9 o'clock 
and then move on to our first input of the day. This might be a reading input, led by a class teacher with a group of 30 pupils. We then follow that up with structured play activities. Your child will move off to a different zone within the classroom where the learning can be shaped and developed through questioning and direction from one of the adults within our early years unit. After about half an hour of this, they'll move back to be with their class teacher for their second structured input of the day. And this might be around number, for example. Then encouraging the children to go off and explore our environment, finding activities that link to that input. Our lunchtime routine starts at about 11.40. We think it's important that we teach the children how to be ready for lunchtime, how to wash their hands properly, how to go and make sure that they know what they're having for their lunch, to collect their tray and cutlery and find their space. And then they will be served lunch. We make sure that our youngest learners eat together. So it's only ever early years within our lunch hall as one unit. After their lunch break, we move on to another one of our structured inputs. And for example, this might be a story time and phonics activity before they spend the rest of the afternoon free flowing around the early years unit. Again, having their learning shaped, developed and directed by the adults on hand. Our doors open for parents to collect at 2.45. And as part of this end of our end of day routine, we very much teach the children how to become independent at this time of the day, how to collect their things, make sure that everything is within their reading folder and that they have everything they need ready to go home. We are extremely proud of our learning environment here at Chichester Free School and feel it has a lot to offer for each and every child. We've designed it very purposefully to make sure we've included a lot of variety so that the children are constantly stimulated and motivated to learn. We've chosen furniture that's different colours, sizes and shapes so the children are intrigued and want to explore the environment they're spending their day in. We've made sure that resources are easily accessible for every child we encourage them to be independent, selecting the right resource for the activity they are participating in. The learning experiences we offer, both indoors and outdoors, all link to the early years framework. We ensure that they not only support learners who may need this, but that they have some stretch and challenge too for those children who thrive on this. We make sure we celebrate each and every child, putting work up on display. And our early years unit has its own cloakroom toilets, sinks and storage for your child. Our environment changes regularly and always links to our current learning experience. So how do we develop basic skills for your child here at Chichester Free School? Well, reading, writing and number are taught at the right time for your child. For example, it might not be that they are ready for a reading book within their first week with us. We would wait until they're settled and ready and then in discussion with you start them on our reading program at the right time. We use a range of structured approaches to teach basic skills. These include letters and sounds which is a program designed to move through phonics in a structured and supportive manner and we use a Singapore approach to maths. This basically means that every activity starts with a concrete or physical activity moving on to a pictorial representation where children might be drawing something and then on to formal mathematical methods and this is likely to happen slightly later in their time at the school. We use a progressive reading scheme called Rocket Phonics. This ensures that the phonics or sounds that are being taught in class are then mirrored in the books that you're getting at home. This reading scheme offers support for parents in the front and back cover and gives you little hints and tips to make sure that you're confident in helping your child at home. We believe it's best that our skills are developed little and often. So we make sure that we have the three 15 minute daily inputs from teachers. And on top of this, that teaching is incorporated into the questioning that adults might do and the structuring of activities children take part in in our wider environment. We try to make sure that we capture each and every child by making learning exciting and relevant to them. And we do this through our topic approach and theme days. We may also change activities as we move through the week to make sure that they are relevant and interesting to your child if they have a particular interest outside of school. And most importantly, we want to build close links with home. 
We provide information and support for parents and we want to work with you to make sure that we are developing your child as a team. As well as the basic skill development, we provide a wide range of other activities here at Chichester Free School. Every child in early years will have a PE session taught by a specialist PE teacher once a week. They'll take part in music lessons, as we've mentioned, Forest School. We have ICT and computing activities, a range of arts and crafts facilities. They'll take part in role play and drama. We believe the curriculum should be wide and varied, supporting all learners through the early years framework and preparing them for the rest of their journey here at Chichester Free School. Many parents will be nervous about their children taking their first steps on their educational journey. And many parents ask whether their child is ready or at the right level to join a school in reception. Well, the answer to that is yes to everybody. Children come into reception at many different levels and each and every one is normal. We pride ourselves in fo focusing upon the individual child and teaching them their next steps to make sure that they're successful in their very first stage of their learning. Applying for a school space is about so much more than what is offered in the early years department. It's about the whole school. Here at Chichester Free School, we're an all through school and this provides many advantages for your child. They can start with us at four years old and remain with us until they're 16, becoming part of the Chichester Free School family. This means only applying for one school space when they start at reception and after that they can remain with us through their whole learning journey. We're a two form entry primary school with 60 children split across two classes of 30. And when we move into the secondary phase, it becomes a four form entry school with another 60 pupils joining from our local groups of schools. As an all three school, we pride ourselves on consistent approaches, particularly to basic skills, reading, writing and maths. We make sure the language and approaches we use are consistent throughout and built upon right from the early steps. In the primary phase of the school, we teach a topic-based curriculum. This means that wherever possible, subjects are linked together under one theme. For example, our year five, six children are currently learning about space and their art, dance, science and English are all linked to this one theme through a key text. As we move into year five, six, seven and eight, the top end of primary and lower end of secondary, we operate a middle school model making sure the transition from second primary to secondary is as smooth as possible. Children get used to experiencing more than one teacher and the way in which we deliver the subjects shifts slightly to make sure they are fully prepared for their secondary education. Being part of an all three school allows each and every child access to first class facilities such as food tech rooms and dance studios and even when they're in the primary phase of the school they will be taken across, for example, to the food technology rooms for a cookery lesson or up to the dance studios for a dance lesson out onto our multi-sports pitch for PE. We have the advantage of being a large staff team. That means that the primary teachers can draw upon secondary specialists to support them in areas that maybe they're not so confident with. For example, PE and languages. And every child will have specialist teachers for particular subjects. For example, one lesson of PE a week right from early years is taught by a specialist PE teacher to ensure that it's high quality and develops your child fully. This all three journey has big advantages. Once you join the Chichester Free School family, we make sure that we take care of each and every individual, get to know them really well as we're investing in their whole education. So what else could we offer your child here at Chichester Free School? You could take advantage of our wraparound facility. This is run by an outside provider, Energy Kids. For a fee, your child could join our breakfast facility, which begins at 7.30 in the morning, or stay on for the after school care they offer. Further information can be found about Energy Kids on our website. We offer a wide range of clubs, sporting activities, and music lessons throughout the school. Again, information can be found out about these on our website, but our offer is wide and ever-changing. If you think CFS is the right school for your child, you'll need to follow the application procedure through West Sussex County Council. This is an online form 
and you'll be asked to select three schools of interest to you. If you think Chichester Free School is the one for you and your child, put us as your first choice, as you're much more likely to be given a space with us if this is the case. Alongside this presentation, there is a frequently asked questions document which may answer any further questions you might have. Use our website. We have curriculum maps, photographs and news events on there which may provide you with a bit more of a flavour of what we're about. Our admissions team are always happy to answer any questions you have and their email address can be found on the documentation attached to this presentation. We wish you luck in choosing the right school for your child and hope to see you if you choose to join the family at Chichester Free School. Many thanks for your time.